Greetings, Commanders. This is Vegano, and we're looking at 43 in Long War. Now, what is happening? What is happening is that we have finally started the infiltration for the Chosen Stronghold. It is starting. We still quite have a few days until it's ready, but it is starting. So we can finally take down the Assassin. Maybe. We're gonna try. Right now we have this supply raid going, which I sent quite a few of our best soldiers in. So things are okay, but uh, most of our best soldiers are either on that chosen stronghold or that supply raid. So right now we will be in survival mode a little bit. The strength of New Indonesia has bumped up to 7, and the strength of uh, East Asia has bumped up to 6. So this little thing here was strength 3 not so long ago is no more. Uh, since we've been into hiding in East Africa after our defeat to protect the data tab, the place has been, the strength has been steadily going down. It is now down to strength six. So what I'll think I'll do, and what I think would be smart right now, is to make a new contact. Because we need to both get the, you need to start doing some of the story mission, which is in this continent, both these regions have a, a uh, Avatar Project place and the story mission in the same region, both of Avenger them. Plotting new course. So uh, we're gonna start. To, we're gonna start to move toward these region while our uh, while these uh, the rest of the missions are cooking. So let's make contact with Brazil. See what we can find. We're picking up indications of the elders' warlock actively working in this region. So we, it's a strength seven, which isn't the best. We have five people on intel. Let's see if we can start uh, for popping some stuff in that place, rescuing some rebels, maybe starting on that region. And nice little easy mission that I could send our less strong people into. Which, something like this, 10 days, 13 to 15, but uh, we don't need that mission. Elite Scope is now done. We can start building Elite Scope, but they're, they're expensive, but we're gonna need it. Alright, some rookie training. That is good. We're gonna set uh, two new rookies training in specific class as well. Uh, we need to send a new... Covered action, that's true. Our understanding of the elders' vision has grown. Do and I have enough people to hunt the chosen? Or should I simply reduce the avatar project? Pardon me, let me uh, which one was it that was getting close to attack the Avenger? I think that's the warlock, right? If I take a look at dark events. Okay, so I don't see it. I, I think I remember it's the Warlock. Do I have enough people to go hunt the Warlock? Do I have a, enough Master Sergeant available? I have two... I have three. That would mean sending some of our best soldiers away again. Our three available Master Sergeants. Which is a risk. But then we could uh, go straight into the Chosen and kill it before any other Avenger defense mission. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It puts us in a very vulnerable spot if we get uh, hit by an invasion or a retaliation when our best soldiers are all on missions. But it's a risk I have to take. This will prove to be an important step forward. All right. Sectopod breakdown. Central claims to have seen one Gremlin of and powered close. bits. Beautiful. Despite a lot of speculation, there was no pilot to be found once we so, it open. right now, with the situation that we are in, I don't have any thing that I can do because I am out of alloy. I did use a bit of intel to uh, get our new contact, so I think maybe an advanced data pad would be a smart choice. Or we could start rendering 
some things that some bodies that we don't need for alloy. Like Berserker, for example. I don't really use the serum that we can get from a Berserker corpse. So we're going to render some corpse. I'll see that work it's an option to uh, use the, the corpse you've accumulated to break him down into base. resources. I've started to wonder right now we are in desperate need of alien alloy, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, 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 okay. Go to Cyan Lab. We can remove the scientist. Cool. Fortress for one of our Psy users. That is incredibly good. What do you got? Hinder! Fuck me. 4 days, 16 hours. With 20 enemies. Large map. If I could pull it off, it would be amazing. Let's go see if it is remotely possible. I'm gonna. I would need, of course, to boost it. If I could do that, it would be the last mission on liberation chain of that region. And this is an okay group. But that's again putting everyone. Even with boosted, that's not 100. If I remove one, it would be 109. Do we try this? No. No, I won't. I would really love to do that mission, but right now... We need to save our strength in case something else uh, happens. Setting course for Sector 3, Brazil. Let's try to uh, remain calm. And conservative until we can do that supply raid and or the chosen which are 41 already Archon King yeah that would be nice but I am not strong enough to take on the Archon King Our right now was a success. so we're gonna repeat the uh, render berserker res research until uh, I'm done until I'm out of corpses it's of gonna pop off a lot these findings yep. will likely prove we need those alloys. Efforts, Let's do it. Commander. Defector as well, but only three days. Sorry, guys. Uh, increase the strain of the encryption. Increasing all intel costs by 33% for a month. Blah. Officer training! Hey, so you're done for now. Miss Junkyard has finally done all her available officer. There is, uh, she needs to be Master Sergeant to do the last one. But she is now available, so I should start Ooh. thinking of training. Ooh, eight days. Might be able to do that. Hmm. Right, so I'll, I'll do that in a second. Uh, right now, let's just take a look at our soldiers. So. Do we have somebody that we can send right away into... Officer training? Not really. Well, Jester could be. But I want to send her into the mission. All right, let's try and see uh, the, what the raid mission looks like. Stopping those raids are really important. And when you have an eight-day window, you have to seriously consider it. There are priority targets. Chosen Stronghold 75. All right. If we can stop this, it means uh, no reinforcement for that region and very good loot for you. It's a really a double whammy that if you can do them, do them. And it's 22 to 24 enemies, which is rough. But these mission, you don't have a timer. You can take your time and set up ambushes. 
And now we have an officer with all our skill in the in the mix. We will, however, need to re-equip everybody because we did a, uh, a little unequip everyone last time. That's fine. Since everything is already built, it shouldn't be too long. Emphasis on should. Let me do a little montage of they're just re-equipping everybody, and uh, I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, there we go. We now have a fully equipped crew ready to take on this 23 enemy. Should be interesting. If we can stop this, again, that would be a really not large number of loot, and we could uh, stop reinforcements, stop potential invasion. The whole shebang. But now I am really out of resources so 79 for you 82 for you it uh, can't come fast enough let's go back here to new brazil course for the brazilian corridor even if i find a mission now in new brazil i doubt i'll have uh, something to help but that's where we are as you can see i used all of my supplies as well to equip our soldier another one uh, won't be able to stop that one. Means New Brazil will strength will go up to eight. I uh, can ignore that. Sure, eighty-four. All right. Not think I could have predicted this out. Give me some alloy. Though it is intriguing. Seven days to oh boy. Gale grant several enemy to grazing fire ability. Which means more grazes. Ooh, that would be really important to stop. It's a permanent one. Do I even have enough soldiers to attempt that one? Ugh. I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel here, especially since I've... Uh, Already spent a lot to equip the rest of our soldiers. I don't think I can do that one. Even though it would be really important. We have another Psy operative who requires a promotion. Okay, okay. Right, let's do that. And you will be fortress as well. Okay. So, uh, whoa. we have very few wounded, but right now we have 27 unavailable, which is 27 of our best. Mm, can we stop that dark event? I don't think so. I would need to send some basic soldier and basic equipment toward that mission. I don't know if I can stop it. 16 to 18. Maybe we can boost it down to... Uh, something like... 10 to 12 or 13 to 15. Alright, what I'm gonna do... Is I'm gonna wait. Because right now... We're at 91 and 88. What I'm gonna do is do that mission at 100 and take uh, the few, hopefully, soldiers that are not wounded and send them on here with a mix of at least some experienced soldiers and some less. That is my plan. So we're gonna keep doing we that. Made a number of new discoveries, Commander. All right, so we've rendered all the Berserker corpses gives us a bit of alloy, which already uses some to equip our soldier. Let's do a data pad, because uh, our intel... Uh, right now, if we keep boosting those missions, our intel is a bit low. We're gonna need more. So, chosen is 100. Let's go kill a Chosen. Let's go. 
Boosting the infiltration will not do a very big difference for these things. So I believe it is time to kill our first Chosen. Let's go. Okay. The Chosen mission. The first one. Let's roll. If you've never played XCOM or uh, War of the Chosen, these missions are not easy. I do have to go through to a few enemies until we can reach the boss, and then we need to defeat the, the boss, and the adds, and everything else. So, our goal as we do the first part of the mission is to use the least amount of resources as possible, because uh, essentially we're going to need them for the boss. So, let's attempt to keep at least some of our rockets, some of our stuff for the final confrontation. Because uh, if we don't, we will be in trouble, more or less. Okay, uh, as we look at this room, there's only one exit. It is that one. I can see a bit of the room here, but uh, we don't have access. There's no door here. So let's start by putting there? everybody ready to breach this Roll room. Done. We have an experience and well equipped crew for that one. But we still need to be very, very careful. Over watching. Got it covered. Getting caught in our. Getting Stay caught and taking too much damage with the first enemies we encounter. Well, it means death. I hope you will never find this place, XCOM. Okay. You have forced my hand. I can afford to give you no okay, quarter. I need to move here to open the door. Be okay. Let's see. It looks clear. There's a door here. None there. And a big open door over there. Okay. I will nonetheless be patient. You say so. If you allow me. I'm just going to overwatch here in case something walks into our overwatch range. Well, we weren't expecting to sneak in here today. Nice. Well, I thought I've been troops. Uh, these guys have uh, lightning reflexes, though. But we did get the mech. From our patient move, so I'll ta definitely take it. Alright. So, we do have an Overwatch. 69 and 44. Let's see. 69 and 44. Let's see, with our accurate sniper, can you get people in the back? We have a 60 in the back, which is not too shabby. What about a Ranger here? That's Warden, pardon me. Ranger is 87 and 56. With the locked on bonus, I have a good chance of uh, taking out this guy. So I will take it. Okay, that's a graze. Then I get the locked on bonus and I'm at 91. Got it. Very well. Uh, bonus movement not required right now. So, I will use the sniper and his accuracy to try and get the Naja Serpent in the back. Isn't that pretty? One down, thousands to Double go. tap, go for the Archon. Woohoo! The difference experience and well equipped soldier duh, makes is uh, intense. Go. Not too shabby. First group down. So I will do another round of Overwatch. Just in case. Okay. So four enemies down. It is a 13 to 15 before we meet further resistance. So we can surmise that a bit, uh, somewhat a third of uh, the enemies we're gonna face is down. There is more loot there. I will attempt to get it, but for now, let's just get into this room. I hope it's 
worth it. Okay, I'll go. Seems doable. Let's make another Overwatch Sorry, round. Or hunker down. Oh, you just reload in your case. Killing no? time. Moving to Overwatch. Okay, so we have two options, either there or there. Rebuild your world, offer you hope. Your actions this day are an affront to their generosity. The thing is, we do not need to kill everyone in this first floor as long as we reach the exit that uh, goes to the boss. So sometimes if you can avoid a group, it's for the best. So we're gonna try and go in here and see what happens. Move, so let's move, move the troops move. into a potential breach position with these doors. Good to go. Copy that. Might have a little bit of reload to do as well, just to be that? sure. All right, so we have enemies there, but we don't necessarily mean to engage. Need to engage them. Would it be so hard to trust the elders? To believe for an instant that they fight for more than just a single world? That humanity is not the center of this universe, okay. but just a So this appear this is the edge of the map. Greater. This is the edge of the map, so this way we have no choice. But before we enter into that area, we're gonna do another It's killing time! Overwatch session. Just like that. On Overwatch. And after that, we're gonna investigate this area. And I'm fairly sure there's gonna be something in that room. So I'm gonna try not to go uh, at the edge of this wall here that would potentially see what's out there. We're gonna try to just uh, get into that room. Just like this. So that uh, if there's something farther here, we can discover it next turn. So I'm just gonna put everybody just like that on the edge of this room. No problem, boss. Very good. I also have the uh, ability to go up here. Which would probably be good for the sniper. Alright. Being patient. Now I can send a ranger up here. Go Skeeter. Okay. It looks calm. Warden. Go peek out. Oscar. I'm trusting you here. Okay. Affirmative, covering now. Shrink, go here. Slim, go up there. Is it clear? All set. Moving to Overwatch. All right. So far, so good. Okay, he is being very talkative right now. Let's uh, move here with Shrink. Okay. What about Skeeter? If I go to the edge of this, it is still quiet, and there's two doors over here. I am. Uh, I'm gonna go investigate these two doors next. I believe this has a good chance of going to the exit. So that will be Overwatching. next. There could be... Uh, these doors are closed, so we're fine. I was, I was about to say there could be something popping up from this door. But that if we keep that door closed, maybe we can even avoid... A bunch of enemies and go straight for the boss. That would be ideal. I'm going. That would truly be right ideal. There. Not 
Okay. All right. We do not seek to kill. So I'm gonna set up people for breaching these doors next. Let's uh, go forward. Uh oh. I've got eyes on an outbound position. Shit. So I did not realize these doors were open. They now have triggered this group. That only that door was open. This one was closed. Uh, that's all right. Uh, that's on me. Purifier and Lancer. Well, let's try and get the purifier to explode. Nice. Do that again. Beautiful. So, Happy now. at least we're not gonna get hit by uh, by a fire, but we do have a grenadier and we do have a lancer. He's the the mech is probably going to do more shenanigans. So yeah, we have a thirty-eight on the lancer with you. Let's follow target him. Now, I could take that Overwatch with Oscar, which would put me in a place where I could actually shoot that uh, mech. He has run and gun available as well. Let's try it. I guess that'll be okay. Ooh, he's okay. And now we have a 90 on the mech, and if we can even try a rapid fire, we have a chance of taking it down completely. That's a hit. Another hit. Implacable. Get better cover. Okay, so this worked out fine, but we do have a Lancer that will, well, most likely suicidal rush attack in melee. And I cannot really stop that. Even if I hit him with this, he's not going to stop. I wish I could reach him with fire. So I'm afraid we're gonna have to take at least a melee. Hit. Adjusting him. Come get some. The grenadier takes a pot shot. Okay. Well, only one. Ah, come on. Shot twice. Hey, it's a miss. All right. So we only took one little damage out of my mistake. I will definitely take that. Uh, let's go for the 67 over there. There we go. Rangers for the win. Implacable, just do a little shuffle. Warden is all yours. Did you see that one? All right. Well, that went well. But that was eight enemies so. defeated so far. This room now appears to be clear. This is the edge of the map here and the edge there. Thus, this door will be next. And there's a good chance that this will be it. That this will be the uh, way to the door toward the boss. So, Let's we're in a walk. good position. This is a great, great start for this I mission. And we have a chance to go straight to the boss. Getting it done. I got lucky though. I got lucky with that melee hit. That could have been a I'm critical not. and oof. Alright, so let's go grab that loot. What's over there? I believe this entire room is clear. Marvelous. I've got it. Okay. I'm trusting you here. Let's get us ready to push into this other room then. Let's move uh, everybody into a breaching position where we can open the door. No need to ask twice. Let's put the sniper in front of the door. Got it, moving. Skeeter, I know you're out of ammo, but for now, beat, beat. run toward there. Got it. Oh, oh there we go. This is the last room, and uh, apparently the last group as well. 
<laughs> We're in a good position to deal with them, though. So this is uh, this is all right. Oops. Okay, just two. We'll take it. Very well. So. This should be the last group. Or at least the last group that we have to face. One, two, three, four. So that would mean 12. Now there's actually another group out there. But we skipped it. So I'll take it. Let's start uh, taking out, uh, taking a look at the numbers before we move anything. Mm, okay. What about the sniper? Sniper at 57. Skeeter. I don't... I prefer not to burn your free reload yet. But there is four of them. I don't want to get hit by the acid of that thing. I might have to. Reloading. Okay, what's my option? 66, 62, 50. Alright, get me a grenadier, please. Okay. Missed. Lockdown bonus. Go to 100. Got it. X-ray neutralized. Okay, so uh, move away a bit from uh, out there with your free movement. Got it. Like this. Now let's see what else. This guy is a problem over there with his Overwatch. He's gonna be. It's gonna be hard to get him. Do have run and gun with Oscar, and I could run to him and give him a uh, rapid fire. That would do the trick. But then I would be set up for a melee attack. If I could get those two on fire, it would uh, negate the, negate them for the rest of the turn. Do have a 57 on you, so might as well double tap because the sniper cannot move. Might as well see if we can. Negative damage. I broke <laughs> the cover and gave myself a critical chance. That's awesome. Alright. So, shrink. In a perfect world, you would be using your flamethrower. Oscar, in the perfect world, you would go for a double shot on him. Okay, so Warden, if I move you here, you will have a critical chance to hit. It's gonna put you in a bad spot, but it's a critical no chance to hit, so let's do it. Let's be aggressive. Success here. Weapons empty. Counting gears. Now I will run and gun. I will eat the Overwatch with you. I know it's not the best, but I'm gonna do it. Already there. Okay, we got a hit. Now let's do a rapid fire. I did not kill him. That is bad. Seems doable. Kill it with fire. I was hoping for a kill, but it did not work. Panicked. That worked. He's gonna do a melee. Will our boy survive? Yes, he does. Under fire. Very well. So I'm going to use one of my eels. I do have four of them. I mean, this was not the perfect play, I understand. But in my opinion, it is better to have one single one of our soldiers get damaged that I can heal than this thing firing its acid blob 
at two to three uh, of our allies and then I would have to waste three medic kits stopping the acid to do too much damage. So, uh, I know it's... Uh, I know that the uh, move looks silly, but in reality, it might save us some problems. Heavier than it looks. And then I can boat barrel your face. Very good. Shrink. Why don't you go introduce yourself? We can finish this poor guy. You know that was good. And then Skeeter. There you go. Right That'll be it. And that Energy is the exit point. Directly ahead. This appears to be an alien transport device of some kind. Understood. Looks like we found our way out of here. Okay, done. X-ray down. I I. Bonus move. Let's get the loot. Elite stuff. That's great. Got the goods. Okay. No problem, boss. Now we do no longer need to care. So before I step onto that platform, I'm gonna reload everybody. Get a little toasty here. Sir, reload. I'm not gonna use your free reload right now. Get into the platform. You're done. Warden. Oh, you're not on the platform. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna place you here, but I will reload before firing the thing. Same thing for uh, the rest of us. I want to come into the second part, ready to roll. What's over there? You're not letting me reload? Oh. Oh well. Is he, are you out? Of, are you on it or out of it? I think you're on it. Well done. All right, let's go. Five. See you on the other side. I think I have a, a bit of time to reload before we meet more enemies. I hope. Alright, second phase of that mission. We're gonna meet at least one group before we trigger the Chosen. One other thing to do is uh, to try and kill that group before you trigger the Chosen so you can be best prepared to now, deal with people. it. Proceed carefully. Uh -huh. What is that? That is Some the MacGuffin that you have to kill to stop the regeneration no they keep and the healing of the, us, of the chosen. We throw at them. And this, this MacGuffin is the reason I chose to bring you push ahead, three, uh, two rangers to this mission. And their ability to just pump out three attacks in one round. Alright, I believe I can move just this. Oh, there you go. I've triggered the few enemies that are here, which is four of them. Uh, including a super heavy mech. Yoice. Okay. But I do have a warden. I do have a warden. I can handle that. Can I full override a super heavy mech and keep him for the fight against the chosen? Let's see. Look, that would be amazing, but let's see what the percentage is before getting too enthusiastic about that prospect. Master enemy 75%. Come on! Yes, we got it. Master enemy. That's gonna give us a bonus mech for the resistance, as well as securing a super heavy mech for the rest of the fight. We got access. That right there, it's gonna make a big difference. Okay, so for the rest of them, the rest of them are melee based are at least close range based when we think of a purifier so uh, I might actually just stand and shoot we just need to get the purifier so can you do that with the sniper 62 uh -uh. 
what about you? Okay, you already moved. So let's do a rapid fire on the Berserker at 85. That's a one. That's a two. Solid hit. Oscar, we're gonna kill the Berserker, which will give us implacable the bonus movement. Now we're gonna go here. I guess that'll be okay. Which should flank the purifier. And we're gonna rapid fire the purifier. Did I ever mention that I love Rangers? Get the drone. Get the drone. View to fill. And now I have a super heavy mech. Very well. So I will not trigger the chosen until I move uh, about in this area, close enough to this. So now we're gonna use a moment to uh, and relax and reload a little bit. No problem, boss. Good to go. Seems doable. So now I have all my rockets, all my little bits, and I'm ready to Reload roll. It. Slim, I don't really have, sadly, a high ground for you. So you might just stay here right at the beginning. Ready to go. Solid. So if you allow me to be a little bit patient, I'm going to advance carefully to the trigger point of the mission because I want to be as ready as possible to take it on. Good to go. So I'm going to test out uh, one movement at a time. Nice. Where is the trigger point? Whatever you say. So I'm going to move everybody okay, here. I'm going. Like the mech, if I move the mech, is going to trigger it. I think. So one more round of uh, effing about. I believe the next move will start it. So let's stay, go take a good cover here. Not yet. Alright, so uh, I believe then we can move everybody into this good cover. And I will spark it next time, next turn. I'm on it. So that's an advice for you when doing the chosen mission. It is to be um, to be absolutely the best position possible before you can trigger it. So take your time, get to the best position possible, and go for it. There we go. Done well, XCOM. Know that you have earned a good death. Bring it on. Hooky. Alright. We faced these things before. No matter what happens today, only one side is leaving this place alive. Agreed. So Misty Madness, all seeing damage control. Adversary Templar. I did not bring the Templar along, but that's fine. I brought firepower. Now, the problem with her is that she starts concealed. So I don't know where she is now, and thus cannot target her. But I do have a super heavy mech. There you go, found you! <laughs> uh, that mech is gonna make the difference. Okay, now she did damage control, that means two armor points. So now it's a ranger's job. Hmm, that's not worth it. 
Alright, so you already moved. You're the guy that I moved. So you cannot really move from this position. So we're gonna attempt it from here. 66. There we go. Armor shredded. Now that the armor is shredded, I will use the sniper. We have a 77. She has the impact compensation and will keep taking less and less damage from our attack. Nonetheless, I think we have a chance to at least, if not take her out, do a lot of damage. That's half of her HP. Let's move into a flanking position with Oscar. 100 for regular, 91 for rapid fire, rapid fire it is. Ah, I was bound to miss at one point. All right, damnable impact compensation. I cannot be so easily dissuaded. Enjoy. I have rockets. I will use them. Or you know, not. All right, so I'm not able to kill her this turn with the impact compensation. We're gonna at least handle one round of her attack. Which will probably suck, let's be honest. So what I'm gonna do is give aid protocol to our to Skeeter who is the closest. Instead of attacking with our with Warden and low hit chance and all that. I'm actually just gonna do that. I'm hoping that she's gonna target the mech, which would make everything easier. Uh, so the defense was not enough. You will join your compatriots soon enough. Well then, you're asking for it, girl. You are asking for it. Yeah. It will take more than superficial wounds to slow. Bolt barrel, death. go. Alright, so that is not a win. We are we're not done. Doctor, the device appears to be some sort of there we go. capacitor transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to Implacable, the get better cover. Them. No wonder these things don't die. And here is why I wanted my ranger along, because I can do one. Now I've already used the other ranger, sadly. But rapid fire, three attacks, let's go. Now, the faster we can break this thing, the less healing the uh, the Chosen will be able to do. Right now, she's 20% healed. There will also be reinforcement soon enough. But being able to attack it three times a round with Rangers, that makes a difference. Let's go Deadeye and finish it off. Gotcha. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes, the regeneration process has been interrupted. Let's heal Skeeter. On the Even if it's it only 4 HP, these then things hit hard. With we've got. And we have two left, so we can afford it. Overwatch. Come get some. All right, now she's gonna come back, but only 20% healed because of the how fast we're able to take out this, this thing. However, she's concealed again. So let's use the mech in a similar fashion. Ah, <laughs> gotcha. So I got very lucky. Very lucky. It, it's not all the time you can reveal her as easily. So I'm gonna absolutely take the win. Now she has impact compensation. Let's use a ranger. Aye, aye. There you go. Husker. Back in. And that will be it. Check it before you get too close. 
It wasn't easy, but we managed to pull We got it. Off it. No more assassin. If only we could see the look on the elders' faces. We got it done with two wounded. So, I knew what I was doing in that mission, as you can see, with just how, where and how to trigger it and have as much people that can fire as much of, as fast as possible, like rangers that can fire three times to take care of uh, the sarcophagus. I think that's how you pronounce it, that heals the chosen. But nevertheless, we got pretty lucky on uh, the reveal that we could reveal it. Uh, easily just end having the mech with us that just change everything so we got i knew what i was doing but it still got lucky and i'll see you guys in a moment all right chosen down chosen down two of our main ranger are wounded that's not the best but we are finally rid of the assassin now we can move on to the warlock Aha! We get the assassin's weapon. We get some very, very needed alloy. Of course, advanced and elite stuff. Beautiful. We've done it. Yay. All right. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Right now, we are set up not too shabby. We have defeated the assassin. We get a bit of a breeding room here. And in 10 days, I can uh, go for the warlock. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Right now, before we go, we're probably just going to uh, start that mission to counter the grazing fire. I'm going to send the three soldiers that just came back from the Chosen with the... Uh, which is going to be the experience core. And then we're going to sprinkle of some of our less experienced soldiers on top. Permeating this entire area, Commander. Pretty much I like this. We will find various psionically adept aliens deployed in the field here. This here looks good. The problem is I need to re-equip uh, everybody on that side as well. So cool, that, that'll be it for this one, guys, because I need to re-equip everybody here and I don't want to do another montage. Sir... That is ready? Well, apparently that is ready, too. Cool, well, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be for the next one. That's gonna be for the next one. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching until the end. Please do some YouTube stuff. Any buttons will do. In next episode, we're gonna dive into that, uh, well... 22 to 24 enemy ambush convoy, which should be interesting because we have heavy lancer, guardian, shield bearer, mutant leads. We have a sectopod, andromedon, sectoid commander, super heavy mech, gatekeeper. Yup, yup, yup. We have both a gatekeeper and a sectopod and a mutant elite. We have the whole fucking thing. And that will be for next one. Thank you for watching. See you next time.